Hi, I'm Sherilyn, and today we're going to be replacing a shutoff arm in a Maytag refrigerator. You may need to replace your shutoff arm if yours is bent or damaged. This repair should only take about 5 minutes. For this repair, we're only going to need two tools, a quarter inch nut driver, and a flathead screwdriver. If you don't already have a new shutoff arm, they are available for purchase on our website. Before making this repair, make sure to completely disconnect the refrigerator from its power source. We can open the freezer door. Start by removing the ice bin. Then we can remove the wire shell. Simply push up on all four corners, and then slide to the left to release the one side, tip up and slide out to remove the wire shelf. Next we can remove the ice maker, it's held in place by three quarter inch nuts. We'll start by removing the one on the bottom, and we just need to loosen the two on the top. Once those are loosened, we can lift up on the ice maker, lift it off the screws, and then we'll need to disconnect it from the wire harness. We can take a flathead screwdriver, lift up on the tab, and disconnect those, and remove the ice maker. All right. So if you need to replace your shutoff arm, it's a really simple process. Just start by pulling out on the side inside the motor. You should just pull straight out. And then you'll be able to release the other side. And discard your old shutoff arm. And you can bring in your new shutoff arm. Start by putting the straight edge into the water cup hole. Once that's in there, Pull back on the curved edge and insert it into the hole where the other one came out. Press it into place. You should be able to turn the switch on and off. And that's it. Replace the ice maker. We'll start by connecting the wire harness. Then we'll just need to make sure that the fill tube sits inside the water fill cup and we can set it on the screws. Replace the bottom screw. And tighten down the top two. And that's it. Replace the wire shelf. It'll go in at the same angle it came out. Slide it into the holes on the left, lower down the right side, center it out, and then simply push it down into place. And we can replace the ice pan. And close the door. Finally, don't forget to plug in your refrigerator. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found this video very helpful. If you don't have any of the OEM parts or tools that you saw in the video, all of those products are available for purchase on our website. Our goal is to show that the everyday person is completely capable of cheap and easy household appliance repairs. So please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, and maybe even show this video to a friend in need.